Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Uh, I know I am, so beautiful, beautiful day here. Uh, beautiful weekend, uh, really enjoying it. So uh, I'm really getting off the week to a good start. So hey, I have something exciting for you today. I think that uh, at least I'm excited for it. Hopefully you will be too. Um, it's something new and exciting to me anyway. So um, if you're a snacker and you love to snack um, and you're doing keto, this is a good video for you. Stick around and watch it. Um, tell me down below, have you ever tried any of these things? What you think of them as I do them? So I have a couple of new products, at least they're new to me. Um, I know they're not probably new uh, in the keto realm, um, but they're the first time I've seen them in my store, my local store. Um, it looks like they're carrying them pretty regularly now. Um, and I've had one version of them. I've actually, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a product review of high low chips. So, so this is the chip that they normally have, um, and this is the chip that I've tried before, and I think I've actually done a review on these before. These are really, really good. I like these chips. These chips and the Quest chips are the two chips that are my two go-to chips, um, and I eat all the time. But the new and exciting thing was, they're actually carrying them in my Ralph store. They're in a bigger bag now, and they also have two new flavors. They have a, a high life, high low, um, this one here is a spicy salsa one that they have. And then they have a ranch flavored almond uh, one as well too. So now these are these are um, almond flour tortilla chips. So they're not made with any gluten or anything of that nature, um, like a bread would or like a normal chip would be. So they're made from almond flour. Now, I will tell you that uh, you know, the ingredients, at least on this one here, the ingredients, oh, excuse me, were pretty good on it. So, um, you know, I was was pretty happy with these. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I was choking a little bit. I had to go get a drink of water. I needed a drink anyway when I was doing these taste tests anyway, so I could wash that a little bit. So again, these high low uh, chips uh, are almond flour chips. I really, really like the tortilla one. They don't taste like Doritos, but they're pretty good. I, I really enjoy them. Um, if you've tried them before, let me know down below. Uh, again, so we're going to do a product review of the ranch flavor because it's new to me. And the spicy salsa flavor. I'm really excited for these ones because I really like the spicy nacho chips. So um, I'm excited to see how these taste and how well these will go with, uh, with, with a cookout for burgers or something of that nature versus having a temptation of reg eating regular chips or something like that. So, um, so pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited for them. You know, uh, I want to see what they taste like, what they look like. Um, I've had these for a little bit um, because I've been kind of waiting to do this review. So, so today's the day. So hopefully you're as excited as I am. So I've been dying to try these uh, <clears throat> again. Um, I'm going to go through and I'll read the macros on them. So so the nutritional facts are one serving in here and there's four servings in this bigger bag. This little bag is one serving. Um, so you can, I think you can buy them in these small bags as well as you can buy a variety pack. Um, and in there here is 150 calories per serving. Um, fat is 10 fat in it. Um, let's see, sodium is 190 milligrams. Uh, total car total carbs are five, so five is pretty reasonable for a snack like this. Uh, I will tell you. So um, five is not bad. It's about the same as the Quest chips. They're right around in the same realm. Um, two fiber in here, and then there's no added sugar, so that makes it three net carbs. And it says right there, three net carbs. If you're doing net carbs, it's three. If you're doing total carbs like I am, it's five. Right. So. Um, so it's good to know. Um, I try to avoid things that are really, really high in uh, carbs, total carbs, and have a, a ton of fiber in them. So this is good. This is uh, good. And all the fibers, I'm, I'm assuming it probably comes from the almond flour, just about all of it. So, so there's the macros on it. Show it to you. Pretty good. All right. And now the ingredients on this one are um, simply uh, hyaluric sunflower oil, um, the defatted almond flour, milk protein. So if you're staying away from milk products, this is probably not for you. Um, ranch seasoning, which is made from whey protein, buttermilk powder, uh, non-dairy fat dry milk, uh, salt, sour cream, 
non-fat fat culture, uh, milk cultures. Um, and then it has onion powder in it, garlic powder in it, seasoning, yeast extract, whey, concent whey protein concentrate, uh, natural flavorings, oleic acid, tomato powder, sunflower oil, butter, uh, let's see, paprika extract, pea protein isolate, chia protein, <clears throat> almond flour, potato starch, and baking soda. So if you're a real purist and you're really doing super, super clean keto, these are probably not for you. But then again, I would assume you're probably not eating a whole lot of snacks either. So um, I just like that. So these, they, they're pretty good. I mean, and now on the back here, I think I said this before, carb counting uh, just got you feeling like you're missing out on a snack that you love. These almond flour tortilla style chips will have you back in the snacking bliss in no time. They're super crispy, dusted with delicious seasoning, and best of all, keto friendly. With high low life, high low life uh, you can really have the snack you miss and keep going. Keto your way. All right, so that's what it says on the back. And then it has a website. So, and then of course, I don't know if you see that, hunger more. Hunger for more, I should say. So, um, they're actually made in Canada, so it's a product of Canada shipped here. So I'm assuming that you probably get it in Canada pretty easy, seeing how it's made in Canada. So we're gonna taste test the first one. So this is the ranch. They smell like ranch. Bad. Not bad at all. I like the crispiness. I like the texture. They're pretty much the same as the uh, the original ones, but they have that ranch flavor to them. It's not overpowering, overpowering, or over, really, really strong. To me, it's a uh, it's a good blend of uh, of uh, seasoning with the texture of the chips. These would actually be good to dip in salsa or something of that nature or some kind of cheese dip or something like that. Because they're a good stiff chip, so um, I think they would make out of them. Now these are the ones that I'm the most excited about to try. Again, this is the salsi, salsi um, almond flour chips. Um, I'm not going to say all the macros are the same, so this is exactly the 150 uh, calories, uh, 10 fat, Five total carbs, two fiber, three net carbs, um, no sugar added. So these are all basically the same thing. So um, it looks like the the only ingredients that are different are the seasoning, <clears throat> the salsa seasoning, because it's made from chicory root fiber, um, tomato paste, salt, uh, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and spices and yeast extract and so on and so forth. So the only thing really, really different here um, <clears throat> really is the season. So, I'm going to take another drink here. Should never eat and talk, I'll tell you. <clears throat> but, they're really, really good. So, I like them. I like, I like the ingredients so far. I, I, I'm, this, the ranch one was pretty good, so I'm hoping that these ones are really, really good. Wow. You can really smell the uh, tomato-y, spicy salsa in them, so. See that? See that red? So it looks pretty good. It smells really good. You can get a little bit of a spice. They're not overly whelming. They're not super, super hot, um, but they're, um, 
they got enough of a bite that it's going to let you know that there are spicy salsa chips. So, so, so here's my opinion. So I actually really, really like these. These, um, so these chips, um, the high life, like I said, I, the other ones I eat quite often. We eat pretty regularly now. I'm not going to say regularly. Once, once, or, once a week or once every couple of weeks or so. Um, I like the ranch ones. These are pretty good. Um, I would definitely buy these again. These salsa ones, I really, really like. Um, I will definitely buy these ones again. Um, they're actually on sale this week at my uh, my local Kruger store. So um, I'm going to run out there and grab some probably this week before they go off of sale. So, um, But these are really, really good. I like these. They're not really, really super, super hot, but they're hot enough to let you know that they're spicy. So um, really, really good. I like the fact that they're... The texture on them is, is pretty stiff. They're, the Quest chips are kind of thin and they break apart real easy. Um, and these are much stiffer. Like I said, these would be good for dipping or anything else like that. They're really good if you like that crunch. And here, you can't go wrong with either one of these. So um, the better whether you like the ranch or whether you like the spicy chips, they're really, really good. So, hey, hopefully you like this review. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon. Hmm. Talking my mouth full, I know it's impolite, I'm sorry. Um, check out the Amazon links down below, some other links down there below for Keto Chow and some other for discount codes and stuff. Um, hopefully you liked it. There is an Amazon link down there, so if they don't have these in your local store, you can order them off of Amazon as well. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, um, you know, and, and check it out. Go down there, if you have a Kruger's store near you, go down there and check them out. Um, I think you'll be very, very happy that you did. Hey, this is the end of the video, so you guys be goss. You guys are awesome. You guys are great. You know, uh, have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you soon.